Hey guys, Derek here from Back to Reality. It's currently the middle of March and we're in the middle of a, a bit of a thaw. Most of the snow has melted. But the forecast for tomorrow says that we're supposed to have minus 30 degrees Celsius temperatures and about 30 centimeters or roughly a foot of snow. So the weather's definitely been keeping us on our toes. But one thing that's pretty cool about all of these thaw and freeze cycles is that we've had an excellent opportunity to see one of the unsung heroes of the natural world, known as the snow flea. Now what's so cool about these guys? Well stick around, I'll tell you all about them. So the other day Paula and I were out for a walk along our trail when all of a sudden we came upon a section of snow that was just covered with a huge amount of black specks. It looked like somebody had snuck out in the middle of the night and just went crazy with a pepper shaker. I mean the stuff was everywhere. So confused we bent down for a closer look and were completely shocked by what we saw. Turns out it wasn't pepper, it was a massive swarm of tiny bluish black bugs that were jumping all over the place. Our first thought was that a deer must have rolled around in the snow and left a, a whole bunch of freeloading fleas behind. But there weren't any tracks or any other signs of a deer for that matter. There had to be another answer. So, to the internet! After a bit of research, we discovered that the mystery insects were what are commonly called snow fleas. Now, unfortunately, I didn't have a macro lens on me, so this is about as close of a shot as I could get. But that's okay. It'll give me an opportunity to practice my animation skills. And with that, I'd like to introduce you to my not-so-artistic rendition of our friend, Mr. Snowflea. But despite the name, he's not actually a flea. In fact, he's technically not even a proper insect, but he's close enough for our purposes. So what's with this case of mistaken identity? Well, first of all, at 1 to 3 millimeters, they're about the same size as most fleas. Plus, they hop from place to place like fleas, so from a distance, they seem to be pretty much the same thing. But luckily for us, they're completely different. For instance, true fleas are parasitic and spend most of their time riding around on other animals and quietly engorging themselves with blood. Sorry to disturb you, Mr. Flea. We're, we're just here to observe. Plus, fleas jump around using their powerful hind leg. Oh, well, just like that. All right, well, back to the main character. The snow flea, on the other hand, isn't parasitic at all. In fact, he contributes greatly to the betterment of our entire ecosystem through his chosen profession of waste management. You see, snow fleas are extremely active all year long, eating decomposing plant matter and microscopic fungus. And like their better known competitor, the worm, they don't just collect it, they also recycle it into rich, organic soil. So having a healthy population of snow fleas around is actually a really good sign for both your local environment and your garden. For instance, we've talked a lot on this channel about building soil rather than amending it. And, well, these guys are some of the builders. So what about all that jumping? Well, technically, it's less of a jump and more of a fling. Let me explain. While fleas have massive hind legs, snow fleas, on the other hand, have a very different yet equally massive appendage. Rather suggestively located right here. Oh god, Mr. Snowflea, come on. It's not what you think. This appendage is called a furcula, which is Latin for little fork. And it's how snow fleas got their proper and much more appropriate name of springtails. You see, the furcula is held under tension against the abdomen, but when released, it flings Mr. Snowflea through the air at tremendous speeds. So fast, in fact, that it can launch him a distance of up to 100 times the length of his own body. So just to put that into perspective, I'm just under six feet tall, which means that that would be the equivalent of me jumping about 600 feet. Or to put it another way, it'd be like me jumping from here all the way to here. The other reason why it's more of a fling than a jump is because unlike my superhuman launch across the field, Mr. Snowflea has absolutely no ability to control his direction and simply tumbles through the air. 
for him, it's less about getting from point A to point B, and more about simply getting the heck out of Dodge. Because while he's just a friendly little helper who wouldn't think of hurting anybody else, there are a lot of other larger bugs who aren't so kind. So when Mr. Snowflea feels threatened, all he cares about is being anywhere but here. So throughout most of the year, snow fleas can typically be found rummaging around in the soil, under leaf litter, and anywhere else that's moist and rich in food sources. Which can sometimes even include the inside of your house, such as around your shower drain. But don't worry, they don't bite, they're completely harmless to both humans and pets, and they don't cause any damage to your home. But if they've got all these other options, what the heck are they doing in the snow? Well, on warm winter days, they like to hang out on the melting snow because as it melts, it slowly exposes all of the microscopic organic particles that were previously buried. And Mr. Snowflea just hates to see all that stuff go to waste. Okay, but won't they freeze? I mean, even on warmer days, snow is still pretty darn cold. Well, actually, that's one more fascinating thing about these little guys. Their blood is basically made out of antifreeze. So while they love the summer, they can and do also live quite happily in both the Arctic and the Antarctic. And it's a good thing too, because... See? I wasn't kidding about this weather. See you guys next time. I'm going inside. <laughs>